Hey guys, Anna here, Heart of Magic and Tea. And today I invite you on a virtual tour of an average Soviet Union flat. If you're not so scary, come on with me. But before we'll do this, I want to tell a little bit of story that in Soviet Union flat uh, era, uh, the old buildings was look the same, what they built in, in different years, uh, different style, but still everything the same. And now we are in Obolon region of Kyiv, uh, in all part of it, because um, you can find a lot of incredible, beautiful buildings and a river embankment uh, with a lot of restaurants, infrastructure. Uh, but this one is old part of Abalone. So this building specifically was built in 1985. And this kind of, uh, it's Czech project, uh, which is upgrade of normal Soviet Union flat. Uh, the flat is uh, 47 square meters and it's worth approximately from 60 to 70 thousand dollars. And that river embankment uh, flat starts from the same size, starts from like 120, 150, depends on the renovation without so much more expensive. Funny thing about all these buildings, they look the same. And even Ukrainian people, they have tradition to watch a, a film, which is called Irony of the Fate. It's about uh, specifically this situation when man, uh, he, get to, he was drunk, <laughs> get into plane by accident and get from Moscow to St. Petersburg. And he told taxi driver his address was delivered to his address and he was the same he get into flat and he even didn't realize he's not in his flat because even the furniture in soviet union time was looked the same so he get into bed until the owner of the flat lady which later they fall in love with uh, find found out the stranger in in his flat so <laughs> check out this incredible film if you didn't watch it it's a part of ukrainian culture and uh, most of the soviet union people they still watch it every New Year Eve. So come on, let's check out the flat. We have a fab. Most of Ukrainian houses they have it. Guys, let's check out the entrance, how it looks like. Probably very different from what you expect <laughs> or how it looks in the West. But still, <laughs> elevators from Soviet Union time, very uh, reliable, I can tell. Come on, come on, don't afraid. Let's go to the 16th floor where it's a beautiful view. So these things was uh, in Soviet Union time, it's working. I remember when I was a child, I was uh, stuck in an uh, elevator and it just pressed and there is a woman was speaking to me what to do. Now everybody has just call, phone call, they can do uh, and security will come and help you to get out from here. <laughs> So guys, if you're brave enough, continue. Before we will go into flat, let's check out uh, how organize everything inside building. So this one, it's what people use before for garbage, but uh, they face the problem with the big animals, these rats, you know, big mouses that come and on the mess, so they stop. Now everybody just hanging garbage out by themselves. And this one territory is balcony with beautiful view for smokers where neighbors, if they are friends, they just come out together, have a smoke, have a coffee, and enjoy a beautiful view. It's the region of Obolon. And as you can see, there is a lot of buildings, old buildings, Soviet Union from uh, 1960 to end of Soviet Union era. And at the end, if you can see, there is a, new, a lot of new buildings. Uh, this one already, new ones, new region. So guys, now I'm inviting you to check out uh, the flat, Soviet Union flat, all the flats the same, one, one uh, room flat. Oh, beautiful walls. It's an area where neighbors clean, you know. Uh, in this uh, Soviet Union buildings, uh, we don't have services who come and clean, so often neighbors have fight who will clean today. And this is one of the big part of, it's important to have in Ukraine good neighbor, it doesn't matter where you live, in the flat or in the house, it's even more important because in the house you even cannot build your house if your neighbor doesn't give you permission to build it. So, I want to um, give attention that how many doors we have. So it's first, first door, right, with one lock, even two. 
it's a two similar, totally similar flat, one room flat, but this one was uh, rebuilt uh, reconstruction to two, two rooms. So guys, let's check out how many locks Ukrainian doors have. And you know why is that? Because Ukrainian people, they don't trust banks. They have a joke that your money have to be at banka, it's Russian calls, but it means container from glass that you keep at home or under pillow or somewhere, but somewhere in home. So it's uh, how Ukrainian people, they believe it's more safety to keep money at home. And that's why very often flat can be robbed. And especially if they know that people keep money at home. So everybody very secure and invest a lot of money in, it's not super doors, you know, but uh, new families, new buildings, they invest a lot of money and, you know, to have incredibly expensive and very secure doors. So guys, this one entrance where you take your shoes off. So guys, this one kitchen, very small, but enough even imagine for the family to use <laughs> because it's pretty normal practice in ukraine when young family get married and they don't have place to live and they don't have enough money to rent a flat uh, man or woman uh, daughter or son he invites his fiance to live together with his parents and i can tell you that if a woman ever in ukraine has this experience <laughs> It's not easy experience, trust me. And then in future, she have the biggest dream is just to live with her man separately from the parents, you know. The stove, as you can see, it's electric. It's a uh, normal practice in uh, high, this uh, building is 16 floors, uh, even more, it's in different stages. So they don't install gas uh, stoves here. But some people, Ukrainians, they so love gas and it's much cheaper because, you know, you have to pay bills for electricity and it's not cheap in Ukraine. So they bring gas tank in and install it and use it in, in kitchen. And it's, trust me, not very safe, but what to do when, you know, have bad economic situation, people to try to save money, so they do this. Okay, let's move to another part of the flat. So it's, uh, you can see, uh, there is bathroom and the toilet and it's all Soviet uh, flats, uh, normally it's separated, it's two different rooms. In the new building, uh, normally it's a big bathroom where it's all together. Come here, let's check out toilet, the most interesting room in the flat probably. <laughs> I don't know how Canadian toilets work, but in Ukraine, when you make poo poo, it's stuck in a toilet and stick to toilet. So it's normal that you need to use these things, please, <laughs> learn this, <laughs> and uh, to clean it, you know, <laughs> after yourself. Because if you come to your girlfriend at home, went to the toilet, and then leave mess after you, her parents probably will be happy with this. They will think it's, you know, it's rude and not nice. So guys, let me introduce you to Ukrainian paper, <laughs> which is quite not soft. I think if you want first time will try it, you will be heavy. It reminds you of newspaper. <laughs> yeah, we have in Ukraine nice paper, but this one much cheaper cost. So many Ukrainian family prefer to buy it because you anyway put this money that you spend in toilet. So why would you pay more money? <laughs> Any guess, guys, why Ukrainian families has matches in the toilet and why they use it after making poo poo? <laughs> uh, it's not all family, but it's pretty normal practice from Soviet Union when everything was in high demand and very hard to get something. So they used to use as matches to uh, make air fresh after they make poo poo. <laughs> so. <laughs> It's still a habit. They, they, they buy air freshener now, but they still not used to use it. So it's for guests maybe, but for people who live here from Soviet Union era, they prefer matches. So you can see it's one square meter where I can stand and everything, you know, so small, 
you ask why Ukrainian people don't use dryers, but you know, if you can see where we can install these dryers, you know, <laughs> it's, and again, it's additional electricity and Ukrainian people, I found them very practical, very economical, you know, so why they would pay additional electricity for to dry if air can do this. Oh my God, who again turn off light? Be ready while you do something in the bathroom or toilet. You can stay without lights. Ukrainian people crazy about saving energy, saving electricity. So everybody call all time turn off everything they see lights. <laughs> it's something that probably deep in habits of Ukrainian people. So guys, this uh, flat it's 47 square meters, and it's called two rooms flat. And why two rooms? Because one is bedroom and one living room, but we sleep in a living room. So it's two rooms flat. But in America, you would call it one bedroom flat. This is, looks like a sofa, but actually this one, they're normal bed. So in this flat can easily live five people, two on other sofa, here two, and then one person there small with some furniture um, a little bit uh, yeah upgraded not specifically uh, Soviet Union already I will try to find you more old uh, flat in the next video but what's interesting come come so guys let's check out patio it's very cold in the winter but uh, still <laughs> useful for uh, as a storage it's pretty normal that in Ukraine people don't buy uh, food in cans. They they do at home all these cans, you know, uh, all this preparation for winter because again of uh, economical uh, situation. I think it came from the, you know, time when uh, in Soviet Union it was hard to get uh, food or, you know, clothes. Now it's abundance of choices, you know, toys for children, everything. But they lived in this time when everything was hard to get and now they all time, you know, collect if they have space to keep it, you know, for future, for children. I still have uh, my mother collect uh, my clothes from when I was child and now she give it so I can wear on our children. But I say, mom, you know, it's a little bit old already. But you see this way of thinking, you know, collecting stuff that probably they can use in the future. So this is where there's laundry is. We don't have a dryer, so normally people dry their clothes on the balcony. They have all like this inside or they just install metal construction and put it out, you know. In smaller houses, uh, people can do this outside on the street. So guys, let's check out the bedroom, but please be quiet because children sleep there. Of Soviet Union flats, you will find uh, pictures of saints. Can be Mother Maria or can be Jesus Christ. Uh, and uh, Ukrainian people do this because they they feel that these things uh, they bless the space where they live. And every time when they see the picture or see church, they do Christ. And uh, every time when they leave house or come back home, so they do Christ for blessings in their life and protection. This one also Ukrainian symbolism that uh, will keep good energy and uh, uh, nice atmosphere in the house uh, for wealth, for health, for <laughs> a good family life. Uh, it's protection by Ukrainian traditions. Mm -hmm. 